Eat something, bitch. What's up with it? What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy, RDR, and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. And today, as you can see right in front of your face and at the bottom of the screen today, your boy, RDR, is doing an uh, epic popcorn mukbang. That's right, a popcorn mukbang. Now, this is inspired off of today. It's my, own, it's my, my first day off, right? So I, a lot of people have been wondering where I've been. I've been running and gunning because I just started my new job. I've been doing a little quick live streams here and there. Um, but before I get into that, all that, uh, if this is your first time coming to RDR Food Reviews, I'm your host, Roberto Del Rio, a.k.a. RDR, and this is RDR Food Reviews. I not only do food reviews, I do story time mukbangs, I do um, versus videos, vlog videos, challenge videos, the works, story time videos also. So if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button that's probably at the bottom or at the top somewhere, vice versa, so you can get the latest, greatest RER food reviews. All right, and um, yeah, man, I have been running and gunning. I have done like little quick phantom live streams here and there to keep people up posted or whatnot. So if you didn't get on, you probably didn't get the notification or you just didn't know, you know what I'm saying? So yes, I started my new job earlier this week. It was on June the 3rd. I've been running and gunning. Uh, learning the new job and everything like that. And it's been fantastic. It's been good. Um, <laughs> some new characters up and down. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of new stuff going on up in there. But we'll get all of that too, like that in the future and stuff. But today was my only day off, and I was gonna watch like this uh, this pay per view from uh, WWE or whatever. Uh, and it was in like Saudi Arabia, and it's like around you know almost like noon time or whatever this afternoon. And usually what I do when I watch like football games and pay-per-views, I give me some twisted teas. I got me some popcorn, you know what I'm saying? And so I was like, man, let, I need to shoot a video, so let me go ahead and throw me a little popcorn mukbang up in there, you know what I'm saying? And so that's what we got here going today. Um, this is my favorite popcorn right here. Pop Secret Homestyle, okay? Not just the regular, it's got to be Homestyle Butter. This is my favorite popcorn. And uh, I know a lot of people on that oven red barker, you know what I'm talking about? But I'm with that pop seeker, you know what I'm talking about? And uh, I don't know, for some reason that sounds weird. Pause. But yes, that's what I'm eating. Pop secret, homestyle, popcorn. I got my hot sauce over here. I love Janet Jackson. I've been eating pop, popcorn with hot sauce ever since I've seen Janet Jackson. And uh, <laughs> and, uh, uh was it Poetic Justice, you know what I'm saying? That's where I was inspiration from, so I love you, boo. And then I got my nice tapatio seasoning. Got to put that tapatio seasoning on there. And yes, on some weird old crazy nigga shit. Because this is uh, all over. You know what I'm saying? If you have not tried the fire sauce from uh, Sam Young or whatever. I had got this a uh, couple, couple, couple weeks back or whatever. I had a other bottle before. This shit here is electric. It's so good, but it's spicy as hell. And yes, I'm going to do a real thing sometime in this video, and I'm going to see what that fire sauce do on some popcorn, you know what I'm saying? So, tune in for that. Then I got my Xenoran seasoning over here, my Xenoran hot sauce over here. So that's what we got here going today. So let's go ahead and get a quick moment of prayer. Father, thank you for this food I'm about to receive. I hope this food nourish my body, made me stronger as a person, stronger as a man. And bless those that grow hungry, I pray that you please follow us on me. Your holy grace is my name, we pray. Amen. Love you, Father. All right, now, let's see if we can get a quick thumbnail in. Jeez. All right, let's come on, man. Let's get a good one in here. Refreshing. That's right, man. That chili water. I, I love that twisted tea. You know what I'm saying? Twisted tea. I'm still waiting on you, baby. I'm waiting on you. So I got about two bags and like a little bit and a half or whatever on this. I, ain't, I know this ain't going to be able to rain all up on there, but it is what it is. Okay, so we are going to get to a quick little bit of uh, 
some uh, hot topics, you know what I'm talking about? And this, two of these hot, to the two of these hot topic uh, ordeals is going to be, it happened in the same damn place at the same damn night. <sighs> oh, man. I know somebody is just salivating, you know what I'm talking about? Somebody's got to be salivating like, man, I want some hot, I want some hot sauce popcorn. Like the little kids be saying, popcorn. I want some popcorn. <laughs> uh, man, first of all, let's get into this shit here. In game three of the Golden State Warriors versus the uh, Toronto Raptors in NBA Finals. In game three. Point, uh, Kyle, Kyle Larry, the point guard, was diving to get a um, was diving to get a ball at the stand. When he tried to dive to get a ball at the stands, this part-time owner, dude, uh, one of the part owners of the Golden State Warriors, when he dove in the stands, he shoved this nigga. And then start uh, hitting, hit, hit, start talking slurs and shit at this dude. This shit got a hand, Cuddy. That nigga gonna sit there and shove Cuddy while he over here doing his job. And his job is only to sit there and watch the fucking game. Why do these dudes keep on talking greasy? And sitting here, some of them be saying racial slurs. Some of them be just sitting at them. I understand as a fan, it's your job to get an edge on these people and like throw them off their game and stuff, but most of them don't give a fuck. But when you sit up there pushing and putting your hands on people, that's not right, Cuddy. Yeah. I know everything I love. That owner would never did that weirdo shit if he was uh if he was back in the day whenever it was at the, the brawl at the Auburn um Palace in Detroit. Whenever that, <laughs> when NBA was like NBA and them niggas was coming in the stand throwing them balls on the nigga. I bet you you would never did that shit to Ron Artest motherfucking ass. That nigga crazy. <laughs> he would have pushed Ron Artest. He would have bit that nigga like Tyson. <laughs> nigga would have went Cujo on that nigga. You know what I'm talking about? And if you don't know who Cujo is, nigga, go Google it. Cujo was a bad motherfucker. Rabbit. Another thing that happened, y'all, in this following night, across the street, might as well say on the other side of the coat, Queen B herself, the gorgeous. And the billionaire, shout out to Jay-Z. First rapper billionaire, they said. Shout out to him, man. True inspiration. Him and the queen were sitting next to each other in the court side of the game, as they should be. And they was next to the, uh, the owner of uh, the owner uh, the owner's wife of the Golden State Warriors. This was all in game three, y'all. So she, <laughs> Jay-Z was, you know, talking to the, um, like, Beyonce was right next to him. And the other chick, the owner's wife was on the other side of Beyonce. She had leaned over and asked Jay-Z what he wanted to drink. You know what I'm saying? It's on the hospitality. You know what I'm saying? The gods in the building. <laughs> and, and he had told her uh, that he wanted, like, uh, like she had leaned over and was asking what he wanted to drink. And then um, he said that he wanted uh, a vodka soda or something like that. But it was so loud that Sugar leaned all the way over, you know what I'm saying? All the way over, uh, <laughs> Beyonce. Beyonce gave that stank ass look like, Ugh, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't like really like disgust. She was just like, oh, I can't believe she 
leaned over me, you know what I'm saying? And then plus it was, but the thing was, the place, Oracle Arena is one of the loudest arenas in, uh, one of the loudest arenas in the NBA. So, that's why she leaned over her. Niggas be tripping, you know what I'm talking about? She leaned over it. The only reason why she leaned over it was because she was trying to ask, ask Jay Z, did he want lime in it or whatever? You can see the video verbatim, you know what I'm saying? From him saying, when she leaned over and was like, oh, what you want? He said, I want vodka soda. And then she couldn't, then she was going to ask him, she asked him, did he want lime in it? And she leaned all the way over because she couldn't hear him because it was too fucking loud. Off of just a look. <laughs> Off of just a look of kind of sort of disgust from Beyonce, niggas went in on her. <laughs> her name is Nicole Coran. Uh, Coran, I think. You know what I'm saying? Nicole Coran. These niggas went, the Beehive, her fans, went to this, <laughs> went to her chat, went to her page, her IG and everything, and started sending her death threats, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> Let me stop because that shit really not that funny. That's not funny, Cuddy. They send death threats to this woman. A billionaire owner's wife nigga got death threats for leaning over Beyonce. I want to do that. <laughs> yeah, Cuddy, she had to Oh yeah, I'm fucked up. <gasps> Cuddy, she had to disable her social media. Oh boy! That shit killing, nigga! Oh hell no! Put that shit away! Bro! Oh my god! She over here trying to spit game, you know, one billionaire wife to a billionaire husband, trying to take me, trying to take this nigga. Man, she, come on, man, why y'all got to break this, this, this girl like that, man? That's fucked up. Just crying. She probably gonna have to go to therapy. These niggas was death threatening the shit out of her. All because of a look, man. Everyone you know is we're goddamn dickless, man. Cause you can't even cough on Beyonce. You getting death threats. Fucking with man. 
And I know Sugar had no intentions of really trying to lean over Beyonce. But, man, come on, man. You got to be in her state, man. She looking at Beyonce like she a normal-ass chick. Come on, man. The levels is... The statuses of levels is pretty much the same. I mean, yeah, Beyonce is an icon. But, come on, when it comes to money, well, hey, she'll be in there, a girl will be in there. It's like, hey, nigga, your money the same money as my money. It's like, hey, man, you a normal person. I can lean over you and say, uh, hey... Trying to ask your dude what's up, you know what I'm saying? And Jay-Z, what's up with a vodka and lime, my nigga? I mean, vodka soda. You was hove, man. What's going on? Thought that you think you won't like some beer, you know what I'm saying? Or some shit like that. Or some twisted tea. Oh, my God. This shit is so good, y'all. My face is about to start sweating. Fans is out there, man. I hear some people you just can't be trying to try. You know what I'm saying? Unless you got the ammo. I remember saying this shit a long time ago when I was a small channel. If you gonna go to war with somebody, that you don't like. That's in any profession. That means, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not only like musically. Social media, I mean, like YouTubers and shit like that. You gonna have to have an army. You can't be sitting there talking shit about somebody that's up on the upper echelon or doing something uh, weirdo and stuff. Because some people fans they have died for them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Perfect segue. All right. And I really hate bringing this up, but it's kind of like segue to this. It's like, like that whole B, uh, B Love and Q uh, little ordeal. Even though like the incident happened like six months ago, Q said that she couldn't have came out and said this shit at, at her, when she was, you know, at hundred thousand subscribers and stuff, because she would, they would have demolished her, as they would have. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And, and uh, before I even get more into it, I'm just like, because I don't take neither size either or, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, I, both of them are wonderful people, and I, I like them both dearly, you know what I'm saying? The great, you know, even more so, even more um, be loved because, you know, she supports me like crazy, you know what I'm saying? She's such a wonderful soul, and Q, I've been knowing her when, you know, when I started, you know what I'm saying? Doing mukbang side, you know what I'm saying? So, they're both wonderful human beings. Well, my point was, is, she has said that she couldn't have came out and said the way she felt or whatever because she didn't, you know, she only had like a hundred thousand subscribers and stuff, and you know, B's got like an army. And she said they would have crucified her, and they would have. <laughs> so I guess she waited, you know, waited for the, waited for the, you know, saying the, <coughs> waited for she to, to triple up on her. Her followers or whatever, they came at it. But imagine that you only had like, like 20K or whatever, man. It would raped your whole arm, uh, uh, it would destroy your whole raped or destroy your whole damn up uh, uh, program. Oh, Cause some people just got subscribers just to be gut, just to got them. And some people got actually real cool people. What uh, it's up to them? Oh God! When I say I recommend you to put fire sauce on popcorn, and goddamn, my face is sweating. I am not bullshitting with y'all. This shit is a one. But again, like I said, I'm glad that this this that situation is got getting like cast over. So much love and shout out to them. 
But yeah, man. This popcorn was here. I think I haven't had about enough of this shit, though. I might say fuck wrestling and just take my old ass to bed. <laughs> take my 33 old ass to bed. One thing I noticed about being in my 30s, nigga, sleep is everything. <laughs> Again, shout out to everybody that's been rocking with me. <coughs> Through this whole transition to my new job and everything, I will be banging out them bangers even more soon. Just give it a little time to let this stuff keep selling over. I'm just going now. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, wait. No, I did. I had to think to myself. I thought to myself, like, dang. Oh, shit hot. Did I pray? Yeah, I prayed. I just looked at the light and it was like, oh. okay. Yeah, this is the after effects of that damn. Uh, spicy ass fire sauce. Thank you everybody for watching my popcorn, my epic popcorn fire sauce mukbang, popcorn mukbang. Hot topic video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your boy RDR. Like I always say, man, hey, look, food is a gift, so please give thanks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you don't like this video, if you don't like this uh, content, Go hit it with thumbs down. No matter, I'm going to love you like I always have. It's your boy, RDR, and I'm signing out of here. God bless y'all. Take care already. I love you guys, and I will see y'all very, very soon. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Cuzzo AB. I love you, girl. Thank you for uh, hollering me and checking on me. And uh, as you can see, Cuzzo, it ain't no way I can do this with spicy-ass ramen. I'm a bitch when it comes to this shit, so what can I do with some Reaper ramen? You know what I'm talking about? So uh, I love you, Cuddy. Thank you for... For your love, I'm signing out of here. God bless y'all already. I love y'all.